hugs, tears, and a whole lot of love in Manchester tonight for hundreds of New Hampshire Army Guardsmen being welcomed home after spending almost a year in the Middle East. It was the first deployment for nearly 80% of these soldiers, including Joe Furland, whose family has been anxiously waiting for his return since April. I'm very excited, emotional, trying to keep it together, but I'm sure I'm going to be crying the minute I hear the buses pull up. Joanne says her son was promoted to sergeant during his time overseas with the battalion and that his coming home tonight is a full circle moment. And today's a special day. His actually his grandfather um, passed away two years today and he was retired, retired colonel in the um, National Guard. So keep an eye, he's keeping an eye on all of us. Yeah. I'm super <laughs> excited, super emotional. I mean... It's just been so long. We're so ready to have him home. Lieutenant Chris Thompson saying the journey home couldn't have felt longer, but that this reunion was worth it. I'm very overwhelmed right now, uh, uh, but, but very happy. And Commander Thompson says even though this isn't his first deployment or some of these other soldiers' first deployments, the feeling of coming home to their loved ones never gets old. This is my fourth, and you would think that it, it, it's a less emotional experience you know, doing it, but but it's not. I, I'm, I'm very overwhelmed. The amount of support from the state, from the New Hampshire Guard, and from all the families is, is outstanding. The commander leaving the armory with just one thought tonight. It's happy to be home, absolutely. In Manchester, Imani Fleming, WMUR News 9.